These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Learner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hi there, I'm ABC 15's Amelia Fabiano with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona, starting with the future of reproductive rights here in Arizona. State Supreme Court justices ruling four to two that a near total abortion ban is now law in our state. That law dating back to 1864 before Arizona became a state. The only exception here is when the procedure is required to save the mother's life. In all other cases, the law calls for two to five years in prison for offenders. Arizona Attorney General Chris Mays saying she will not prosecute violators and the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office adding they will not make any arrests as Governor Katie Hobbs spoke on the issue. It is a dark day in Arizona. I am calling on the legislature to do the right thing right now and repeal this 1864 ban and protect access to reproductive health care. Some Republicans working to distance themselves from this ruling. Arizona Congressman Juan Siscomani calling it a, quote, disaster for women and providers. Representative David Scheichert says, quote, this issue should be decided by Arizonans, not legislated from the bench. And U.S. Senate candidate Carrie Lake says, quote, I oppose today's ruling and calls on Governor Katie Hobbs and the state legislature to come up with an immediate common sense solution. While the Center for Arizona Policy saying the decision preserves a system designed to be blind to all but the law. And in doing so, it upholds the right of life for all Arizonans. Also saying it spares women of what they consider physical and emotional harms of abortion. Okay, smart shoppers, we understand your frustrations as inflation impacts your wallet. So we're taking some action here to help you cut costs at the grocery store. Here's John Matteris so you don't waste your money. Grocery bill getting higher and higher? Well, think about it. Trimming just $10 a week from your bill could mean an extra $40 a month in your pocket. And you can do it with just some simple substitutions and flexibility. I used to take a lot of like time to make recipes with my roommates. That was a thing during the pandemic that we love to do, to cook together and try new things, but especially things like uh, mushrooms, for example. I was just literally looking at that right now, and that seems to have spiked a lot. Rising prices, causing college student Leah Nyack to be one of many Americans changing their shopping habits. For tips to battle bulging prices, we turn to smart shopping expert Trey Bodge. She says, first, be flexible, especially if an item on your shopping list isn't on sale. And you can maybe say, well, maybe I'll use chicken in my chili instead of beef and save a lot that way. She also recommends stocking up on some non-perishables. When you do run out of your fresh foods, then sometimes you turn to ordering in and that becomes very expensive. Trey says if you're buying the same things every week, see if there's something you can make yourself like granola or hummus. Also, swap expensive name brands for generic. There are so many great store brands or generic brands that often are made in the same factory. They have exactly the same ingredients. Plus, more apps are making it easier to save on soon-to-be-expired or surplus items. The app Flash Food, which we told you about last year, offers savings of up to 50%. Lastly, join your store's loyalty program and do a mix of in-person and online shopping. That way, shoppers like Charita Kazampoli won't have to cut back on so many of their favorite things. Cheese, butter, which we like, mm -hmm. but we back off because of the prices. But with some smart substitutions, you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris. All right, today's the day. It's the ABC 15 Telethon benefiting Phoenix Children's from 6 a.m. until 10.35 p.m. Phone bank volunteers will be on standby to take your calls and donations. Every single penny counts here and goes a long way to help these kids in need of life-saving care. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Sermosio. A big warm-up. It really kicks off today. Yesterday, we felt that warm-up as a disturbance cleared out. Temperatures rebounded closer to normal with a high of 85. Well, today, we're back above average. That average high is 84, with Phoenix tapping out just shy of the 90s this afternoon, 89 degrees. The record high for today's date, by the way, is 100, so we will not get that hot. But temperatures will get warmer today, and that's going to be the case across the state. In fact, we could see the 90s out west, like Havasu and Yuma, potentially into the low 90s this afternoon, with highs 
reaching the 60s to 70s across northern Arizona. And then we are in for the warmest days of the year so far by Thursday and Friday, the first 90s of the year, the first 95 degree days of the year too. Thursday and Friday look to reach 95 degrees, which puts our temperature at about 10 degrees above the average for this time of year. It's going to be much warmer to finish out the week. Still about 90 on Saturday, but then temperatures start to come down as winds pick up and we see a slight chance for showers up north. For the latest headlines, weather and traffic, head to abc15.com or download the free ABC 15 mobile app. Have a good day. These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.